All right, hello and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morris and how's it going? All right, we're going to do another weapon chat here. Diamond Art Clubs, Hogwarts Crest, Fine Oddities Black. Basically, the top right hand corner is what's left. We're getting there. All right, square drill. 22 inches by 26 inches, 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters. It had 42 colors and included four AABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, and they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under color code or DMC code is con uh, 150 is considered an AB. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm trying to fight this plastic cover back here. Just wanted to hang out on the what was left on the Exposed adhesive on the canvas. Oh man. Intense. Alright, so we'll just keep hanging out until uh, I had this 310 figured out. Oh well. Big tasks just require perseverance. Let's get some coffee into me. Great, my hair is falling out again. tried brushing the axle this morning and uh, yeah I still have all my limbs and organs so that's good <laughs> just never brushed him when he was a kitten so he just never got accustomed to it brush him for a couple minutes and then he just yeah I guess his claws out oh hi I have claws no touchy mm -mm. Rawr. Anyway, hope you're having a wonderful day and your crafting slash other hobbies are going well. I have to get a haircut this afternoon and my mom wants me to go to the local bookstore to check out, see if a Giller award winning book is there. Yeah. I'm going to give you some money and you can go to the bookstore and check that, and see if that book's there. It's like, oh yeah. Alrighty then. <laughs> I don't know, Scotiabank Geller Prize or something that I just did. A book wins an award for number of sales or something or just its general popularity. I think it's like a certain group of people vote every year for uh, the Giller Prize. I don't know. So, there you go. <laughs> well, I usually don't hear about the books. Like, just commonplace. Uh, you, I think you have to be looking for that kind of stuff to be notified of what these books are <laughs> these days. It's like, kind of like with uh, music, you kind of have to be looking for it. Kind of just be looking around for that kind of stuff or just find it by accident by listening to it via live streaming or etc. Music stream. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Dust in the air. And they were fixing uh, a segment of cement at the grocery store. So I was wearing a mask. But yeah, cement dust is one thing you do not want to breathe in. Just repairing the sidewalks and stuff for a start. Yeah, I guess they're cracking and stuff. But yeah, cement dust like right by the front entry of a grocery store. Uh, yikes. That just sounds a little scary. <laughs> but anyway, there are automatic doors, but... And, 
can't guarantee that that's going to prevent cement dust from sneaking into the entryway of the grocery store. It's great that they're fixing the cement and all that, but... Yeah, for what uh, people are paying for groceries and food this day, these days, holy cow, inflation. Yeah, you better be fixing the parking lot. Some potholes are atrocious. <laughs> I think it was like 200 and something for the stuff we bought today. It wasn't very much, but yeah. Chicken breasts went up by like nine bucks. It's like, holy. <laughs> Inflation be scary. And the Savian flu too. It probably affecting uh, chicken production. Like, yeah. Chicken farmers picked down. Both egg wise and yeah, actual chickens. It's just yikes. And this little uh, holiday called Christmas is around the corner. It's a behemoth craziness. I'd say if you're feeling the financial pinch or don't want to feel the financial pinch, I just say just simplify things. Just minimize on the gift giving. That kind of thing. Yeah, just kind of slow down and just, yeah. Don't go overboard. It's like, really don't need to. And having. A roof over your head and electricity and food to eat, place to live, etc. Car that's in good running condition or whatever you use for transportation. That's a little more important than uh, going a little overboard on a gift for somebody. It's just. Not that you can like indulge if you've been like careful the rest of the time, like such a thing as that, but yeah, don't ever feel you have to go overboard to for the Christmas holidays or the holiday season in general. Kind of stay within your limits. Be less stressful that way. I, I think just like the hype of the holiday season just gets everybody a little excited and that just create generates more stress as well probably just being surrounded by media and Christmas music on the radio eventually and just the general anticipation of the holiday season just I think just triggers a lot of people <laughs> stress-wise. Yeah, I think I feel the sensation of that every year. Not that I don't get excited about the holiday season, and it's like a nice, happy feeling to have, but yeah, I... Uh, Kind of being an empath, you just kind of feel a lot more, yeah, just pick up a lot more atmospheric, how other people feel, you just kind of pick it up a little bit more, a little more sensitive to it, kind of pick up that uh, anxiety and anticipation, just kind of sense it a bit more. Probably what really doesn't help to watch the news either and see that kind of stuff, but whether I watch the news or not, that still, yeah, I just pick up that extra anxiety and the general feeling of an environment. Yeah, I think I mentioned that I was kind of an empath 
I better go. Yeah, you're just more sensitive to what other people are feeling and yeah. Kind of ties in with the being attuned for Reiki. I have level one Reiki and yeah. You take a course on hand placement and all that and then you get attuned by a Reiki master to open up your chakras and yeah be able to unlock the healing energy that's already ambient in the human body it's just a natural chi or key or something ray i don't know but it's a specific breakdown for what reiki means a two-part definition kind of thing. basically healing energy from the hands usually so I think my mom that uh, acquired the master level of Reiki I just have level one I wanted to get learn level two or get a tune for it but COVID came and then yeah uh, I've never heard from anybody since about that. Taking a course. I'm still open to it, but Reiki level one does not turn off. Like, the energy does not turn off for me. I feel the warmth of my hands quite a bit. Yeah, it's just a naturally uh, occurring energy. Yeah, did anybody get any of the Christmas... Uh, Diamond Art Club Christmas release canvases. I think Dreamer Designs is going to release Christmas designs as well. I saw one of them today. Uh, Instagram or social media of some sort. Facebook maybe. I think it was Facebook. That one, uh, Santa with a Lantern from Diamond Art Club, it, it's huge. Uh, it looks really good too. A lot of dark blues I think. Yeah, this looks really nice. 113 centimeters by something. It, it's a huge one. And there's that black cat one. Like, not Christmas oriented, obviously. It's been released for a while. Black cat resting on a, a book of some sort. A hardcover book and a candle beside it. That canvas is huge. Somebody finished it and put it up on their wall. I think they framed it too by the looks of it really beautiful large canvas be awesome to do is axel's a black cat <laughs> it's a portrait of axel <laughs> looks like him <laughs> yeah cats just have that kind of sass to them meow i'm pretty Pay attention to me, I'm so cute. Draw me like you draw those French girls. <laughs> Quote from Titanic there. Yeah, yeah like cat's just kind of chilling. I think it's kind of like creative license, but that cat might lie like that. Like, from the whole concept of that canvas. Probably just... The artist just saw that the cat was lying like that. Their cat or a cat probably got inspiration from somewhere. Cat just chilling in the sun or something and it's just lying like that on its side. It's kind of content. It's having a time.
Oh geez, it's a little wax giving up the ghost here. I'm just flipping all the drills. Yeah, I think I'll put new wax in here. I tried to squish the take the wax out and squish it around, but that's probably not cutting it anymore. <laughs> Yeah, let's get a new wax, no big deal. Yeah, just a sec. Yeah, let's put some more on the end of the pen. No big deal. Still working on like the wax from like my very first diamond painting kit. I had got from Mary Maxim, uh, Midnight Messenger. It was a partial. I was still working on the wax from that. <laughs> a lot of blues and... <laughs> this woman with an owl. And... Oh, there's a couple owls in that picture. But the owl on the, in the foreground is like, has a scroll in its talons. So, Midnight Messenger. So. Yeah, it kind of has like a mysterious princess aspect to it. It's really cool. Probably a piece of art that's been around for a bit. <laughs> Just turned it into a diamond painting. I didn't realize it was a partial. Kind of like the astronaut in space one. Uh, Non-DIC. It's a diamond dot. <laughs> I think most of those are partial. The diamond dots canvases is that a uh, probably a true fact. <laughs> yeah, I could be wrong, but I think most of the time diamond dots are partials. But yeah, it, it works. It works. The pictures are still pretty cool. I just like doing a whole canvas though. It's like. This kind of looks better in my opinion, but I don't know. Midnight Messenger looks pretty cool. So it, it does work. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just think the art looks more uniform if, uh... yeah, it's just full drill, but. No, yeah, it can work out. If the sky's like painted and you don't put drills on it and everything else is uh, kind of diamond painted, that yeah, it works out. Like if it's just background or something, yeah, it, it can work. But, oh, I'm pretty sure there's a DAC astronaut in space. I think it's just like. royalty free kind of artwork yeah, it's just kind of a probably something you use as a desktop background that kind of thing but this astronaut in space is a full drill for diamond art club i don't think i'd want to do it again because i have a partial of it but the colors are really cool i think in it so i think the planet is a little more detailed too Oh well, all good. <laughs> I think I have like festive fireplace for like a holiday themed kind of canvas anyway. That was really popular back when it came out, so it's a little harder to get. I think I have festive fireplace. I don't know. <laughs> Should rephrase that. <laughs> Yet again, for diamond painting, if it kind of has like a theme, eh, just do it at whatever point of the year you want. It's art. It works. <laughs> yeah, just do it when you can. If you have something that is kind of seasonal looking. Yeah. 
yeah, it might feel weird at the time to be doing it when it's like 20 or 30 degrees out, but hey, if you want to have it done for the next holiday season or whatever, it, it makes sense to do. Kind of encourage you to do crafts like that. Yeah, before the actual season comes along. It's one last thing to worry about, and then you have it. Yeah, I've seen that kind of mindset, people starting holiday canvases, holiday themed canvases, just around the fall, that kind of thing, summer, late summer or fall. Yeah, it works. But yet again, yeah, just, I've seen like a Halloween Randall Spangler that somebody was working on, had a jack-o-lantern jack in it. And a couple of the draglings hanging out. So, I don't know. It works. Even though, like, Drills and Chills is over for this year, I think it's, like, fall Halloween-themed kind of diamond paintings for that event. I think it's done. But, <laughs> you know, finish the canvas, no big deal. Just, yeah, do what you can. Usually the fall, and it's like uh, kids are going back to school, etc. Yeah, it does get a little hectic, so don't be kicking yourself if you can't. Didn't manage to finish canvas for an event. Oh, they're just... <laughs> Should just be like a hashtag, just for the giggles or something, like... <laughs> Oh, and probably our events that are just like finishing up clean up whips or something, like works in progress. Probably just generic hashtags that's like clean up your whips. Uh, I think I've actually seen that around. <laughs> yeah, there's a big soccer canvas event winding down. I think there's 25 more days. I keep seeing a countdown post for that. Yeah, it's winding down. I think it large canvases, obviously, but I'm not sure what the minimum uh, dimensions were for it to be considered a huge canvas. <laughs> oh, well, just... Yeah. As I mentioned from time to time, there are various diamond painting events or crafting events that uh, people run. <laughs> Content creators, usually. Fellow diamond painters, crafters, etc. Yeah. Just a. If somebody's like, yeah, I have this canvas, but I'm not sure when to do it. Or for a specific artist, too. I think there was a Mandy Manzano kind of themed uh, diamond painting event. Well, look at the chalk along, chalk pins and canvases. So. Yeah, just events that generate interest and community participation kind of thing. Yeah. If you have a hobby like this, it's, yeah, just take your time, enjoy the experience. This is relaxing, putting drills on adhesive, even though people are probably screaming, please multi-place. <laughs> I don't know, just a uh, single place. <laughs> Yeah. 
this is for my nephew for Christmas, but it's like, it's not have siren lights blaring and alarms going off. So this is for Christmas. It's like, get in there, just have this 310. That's it. Really, uh, I'd like to have it done, but yeah, just plugging away here. Just going to be sensible about it, not totally lose my mind over it. <laughs> That's when it doesn't become fun anymore, a hobby, if you're just become preoccupied with like a deadline or something. <laughs> yeah, what might not be perceived as a time crunch for somebody that just naturally diamond paints for like a good chunk of hours in a day is probably like a <laughs> freaking uh, countdown of doom for somebody else to do like a canvas in like a month for an event or something yeah I did do a, that a chalk pins and space for reflection canvas in a month like I managed it yeah, my work schedule is a little different though but back in the day that was a couple of years ago now Yeah, I did on Golden Shores, like, for just a whip and chat. Yeah, done a couple, yeah, Chuck Pinsons. Yeah, Space for Reflection was my first one, which was around, and on Golden Shores was a square. Yeah, two Chuck Pinsons, I think. I am surprised I remembered the name of that, both of those at the moment <laughs> it's like I know what that one is but uh derp what I'll forget like the name of those two canvases one day when it, that idea comes along it's like oh yeah that was uh what uh <laughs> I don't know, just basically, I've probably said it in the past, just enjoy what you're doing for a hobby. Yeah, you're supposed to be having fun. Mm. But yeah, this can be perceived as a grind, like a one color, black. <laughs> it, it is, but more drills get down the closer you get to completion. It's kind of how I like looking at it. Oh, I had to spend time with the community. And yeah, just hang out. Not in like a terrible rush by any means. And kind of nice to know to that I'm almost on this canvas because this section because yeah, I've been doing 310 last. I've been doing like colors all along. The bright sparkly colors all along <laughs> before I went to the background. So yeah. I don't know. No matter what craft you're doing, yeah. If you're not having fun then it's really not a hobby anymore. It just feels like a job. <laughs> All right, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison down below in the description. I put my Facebook profile name, my Echoes of Color Facebook business page. It's really just a website within Facebook. And my Instagram. All three, I just try to update every now and then. Nothing major, but just section finishes of whips. I managed to fill this in, take a picture of the whole canvas basically because it's done, because it would be done. Yeah, 
just those kind of little tiny updates, nothing major. Uh, I also post a couple of my walking challenge uh, website links to where you can purchase the challenges, but I don't earn a commission or I'm not affiliated with uh, Conqueror or Pacer. Yeah, I won't you I won't earn a commission if you click on the website links. They're just they are for information purposes if I do manage to update through these whipping chats how my walking challenges are going. Yeah, I'm like over eighty percent done the fellowship for Lord of the Rings. I'm gonna be glad when it's done. Holy cow, it's brutal. But yeah, I just walk and voila, there you go, <laughs> I get medals. But anyway, take care, all the best with your crafting endeavors, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.